Well, look who's back, and looking more imposing than ever, I might add. You will be pleased to know that Taylor's command of his magics has advanced by leaps and bounds since you left. Says he's finally convinced he can hold his own against Fronsis. Truth be told, I worry about the boy. As devoted as he is to his training, I can't help but notice a sad, uneasy look in his eyes from time to time. He insists it's nothing, of course, but I remain unconvinced. As a fellow mage, perhaps you could succeed in reaching out to him where I failed. He should be around here somewhere. Go and find him, and see if you can't offer him a few words of support, won't you? Hello there, Kanek Hotine. Is there something I can do for you? Sarig was worried about me, you see. That is, kind of him. I assure you, I'm completely fine. I owe so much to the both of you. You brought me back from beyond the rift, took me under your wing, trained me and comforted me to the point that my memories and my magic have both returned. I am finally ready to face my old friend in battle, and it is all because of you. And yet, there is a fear growing inside me, a fear that threatens to consume me. In my studies, I have learned much about the Sin Eaters. I learned how those who fall to the most powerful Sin Eaters, like Francis, become Sin Eaters themselves, doomed to live out their days as mindless, unholy abominations. If I were to lose my focus in battle, and you or Sarik suffered the same fate as Nilbert. The only three friends I have known in this world. If I lost you all, how could I ever live with myself again? This fort, it shakes me to my very core. You are right. I mustn't forget that I have two strong friends by my side to help me shoulder the burden. Thank you, friend. The task is a daunting one, but I will trust in myself, and in the strong and gentle friends who stand by my side. Nothing would make me happier than to help Nile but find peace, but that is not the only reason I fight this battle. I must repay you and Sarik for all you have given me. Not only did the two of you bring me back to this world, you have instilled me with a newfound sense of purpose. And yet, when the battle is done, you will leave this place. You will embark on new adventures, with new companions. Worry not, I will not hold you back, or stand in your way. That is another reason I must fight this battle. I must prove to you, to all three of my friends, that I am strong enough to get by on my own. Be strong, Taylor, you can do this. Er, sorry. Perhaps I got a little carried away there. In any event, we should go. Tell Sarik that I'm ready.
I asked Suri what he intends to do after the battle is over, but he just scowled and told me to focus on the task at hand. Do you think he's feeling sad about us splitting up, too? Er, don't tell him I said this, of course. You're finally back, I see. I was starting to get worried. I trust this means you're ready to do battle with Fronsis. I am. Let us put an end to this nightmare, and set Nilbert and the people of this land free. That's the spirit. Alright, the plan is to lure Fronsis to us by the same method as last time. We will venture to the central hills of Amber, a safe distance away from the city, and Taylor will summon forth a hollow. It should only be a matter of time before our quarry arrives. I believe our chances are best if we can lure Fronsis to a wide open space, where we will have complete freedom to maneuver. The hills of Amber should suffice. If you are ready, let us away at once. I couldn't be more proud of how much Taylor has grown since we first met him. Why, he's like the son I know, uh -huh. Enough chit chat, eh? We have a battle to fight. I am ready. Let us begin. Over there. It's him. Yes, I knew you would come. Well, I guess we won't be needing this anymore. Give it up, Nilebert. My spells are more than a match for your own. These are my friends, and I will not let you take them. Do you hear me, Nilebert? Your long nightmare, and ours, shall end this day. I'll 
The power of the sea. The The power of the sea. Cool. Now stand back and save your strength. I'll go to the power of the sea. No doubt. Cool. Now stand back and save your strength. I'll go to the power of the sea. No doubt. It is done. Look out. Here comes another one. Look out. Here comes another one. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. I will see you in the house. Watch us. Try to see us. Are you there for the whole world of his magic? Watch us. Try to see us. Are you there for the whole world of his magic? Over here. What is doing? Become home. The boss is trying to take us out in one fell swoop. Move away from me and kill me. The boss is trying to take us out in one fell swoop. Move away from me and kill me. Move away. What is to be come home? What is to be come home? From the hollows. From the hollows. Are you alright? Good. Daniels. Are you all right? Good. It is done. It is done. Give me friends. My strength is done. Give me friends. My strength is done. Looks like we're on our own until Tainer's strength returns. Stay clear of the hollow. Looks like we're on our own until Tainer's strength returns. Stay clear of the hollow. Good luck. But if you look at this one. Wait. Perhaps we could use the hollows to our advantage. Good luck. Look at this one. Wait. Perhaps we could use the hollows to our advantage. We can have the bus that's still going. Tainer, how do we fare? We can fight. The bus is still going. Tainer, how do we fare? I am fine. Leave the hollows to me. I am fine. Leave the hollows to me. I will see the hollows. I shall be keeping that the power's mouth that commanded when he still lived. Taking the DMT shell of his body can work these magics. I shall be keeping that the power's mouth that commanded when he still lived.
Forgive me, Tina. Far and wide did I travel with my companions, all the while searching for a way, any way at all, to bring you back to this world. And yet, in the end, it was all in vain. Though I treasured the adventures I had with Artbert and the others, my choice that fateful day forever haunted me. What if I had run off with the stone, and used its powers to rescue you as I had always intended? What adventures might we have shared? I sunk into the depths of despair, and felt myself a wretch for doing so. For by what right do I pity myself, when it was I who consigned you to far more cruel and tragic a fate? Whatever pain, whatever loss I knew is nothing compared to what you suffered, what you still suffer. Abandoned by your only friend, cast adrift in a cold, dark void until the end of time. Yes, no doubt you are still out there beyond the rift, cursing my name to this very day. That's not true, Nilbert. I'm right here. And yet, even if you despise me with every fiber of your being, even still, I would give anything to see you just one last time. You could curse me, revile me, rain fists and magics down upon me. It would all be worth it, just for the chance to say, I am sorry. Stop it, Nilbert. Please, stop saying those things. Even after you had your mind, your heart, your very humanity ripped from you, still, still, for all these years, you kept searching for me. How could I ever hate my best friend? Don't you see, old friend? It was Kay Nekotine here who brought me back to this world, but it was you who guided her to me. You have suffered long enough, my friend. I can take care of myself now. You need worry about me no longer. So please, rest peacefully. Call me crazy, but damned if the boy's words didn't actually get through to him. It's over, at last. You don't need to explain it to me. I know that the Nilbert we saw was just a memory, a reflection from the crystal. That my friend truly passed years and years ago. And yet, even if those words will never reach Nilbert, simply saying them aloud gave me a measure of peace. I have no regrets today. But we should be getting back to town before any more Sin Eaters take notice of us, yes. I'll say. After that battle, I could use a rest, and I reckon Kaneko time here could as well. Shall we head back to Maud Soup?
we did what we had to do. I have no regrets. Well, if it isn't the woman of the hour. I'm happy to report that tales of our triumph are already spreading across town like wildfire. Word has it the merchants are so grateful that they intend to sweeten the bounty with a generous personal reward. My friends, I have no words to express my gratitude. Thanks to you, Nilbert has found peace, and I can finally close the book on this chapter of my past. Every day, I thank the gods for having brought us together. The feeling's mutual, lad. To be honest, I wasn't sure what to expect when you popped out of that hole, but it's been a pleasure having you at our side. So, tell me. Now that you've made peace with your past, what do you plan to do with your future? You and Kane Time have trained me well, and I am quite confident that I can hold my own on the battlefield. Perhaps I will travel the land, and see if I might use my abilities to help those in need. If I didn't know better, I'd think those were the words of someone twice your age. If that's truly your intention, then I have something of a plan. First, I'll need Kane Time here's permission. It's just a thought I had. But, what say we give the lion's share of the bounty to Tainer here? I reckon he needs it more than we do, and besides, we couldn't have won the battle without him. Ah ha ha. You're God's damned right, I do. Anytime you have need of a skilled marksman, you know where to find me. And don't you worry there'll still be some coin left over for the both of us. My friends, I could never take advantage of your kindness like that. Think nothing of it. It's not easy for a boy your age to make his way in the world, and this is the least we can do. Think of it as a parting gift from your brother and sister in arms. Thank you, Sarik. Thank you, Kanek Hotain. As long as I live, I will never forget your generosity. Finally, I've one last proposal for you, if you're keen to hear it. There's this bounty hunter I know. He can hold his own with a bow, but he's always thought he could take on bigger marks if he had a skilled midge at his side. If you're looking for a partner, that is. Surik. You could not possibly mean. Of course I'm saying it. So, what'll it be? Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. Why, nothing would make me happier. Then I suppose that settles it. Welcome aboard, lad. I've got a feeling that this is only the beginning of a rewarding relationship. And on that note, I do believe my new partner and I are off to the Crystarium to find ourselves a new mark. If it's not too much to ask, why don't you join us there? I still owe you your share of the bounty, and I reckon it'd be a good place to say our proper farewells. The path ahead will not be an easy one, but there is one thing I know, where I once feared the future, now I welcome it. Ah, Taineko time. Glad you could join us. Taina and I just arrived a short while ago ourselves. The boy's keen on starting his new life as a bounty hunter, to say the least. He's got no end of questions, that one. 
but there's only so much I can teach him, the rest he'll have to learn from experience. And so I intend to do what I can to show him the world, and keep him safe. So don't worry about us. Between my bow and his magics, I reckon we'll be able to hold our own out there. That said, should we ever find ourselves on the trail of a particularly nasty foe, I hope you'd not be averse to lending us your strength once more. Yes, somehow I have a feeling it won't take another hundred years for our paths to cross again. Until then, friend, stay sheltered in the shade.